The world is full of hatred and lies. Is it inherited? Or is it a learned behavior? I believe every person is born with the same capability to be kind and loving. Somewhere along the way, is this kindness and love lost? Or is it just buried deep inside a person, never to be seen again? Well, I say, let it shine. The world will be a better place. Hey everybody! In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this buried heart. And just so you know, I am wearing a shirt. There are some shots where it is not visible, but I assure you, I am clothed. So I started by giving myself a guideline of kind of where I wanted the heart. It doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be painting over it anyways, but it's just there to guide you. I did this with a white eyeliner because it is a lot easier to fix your mistakes. It's just if you mess up, you just wipe it away. You can go ahead and draw on the details, but you don't have to do this. You can just eyeball it when you're painting, too. And I drew on where I wanted the heart to be as well. And then I started by filling the heart in with the dark pink. Then I went in and filled in the bigger heart with a gray. The edges don't have to be perfect because we are going to be outlining it in black. So you can clean up the lines then. If there's any leftover white marks, just go ahead and wipe them away and you're good to go. Then I mixed white with the dark pink from before and put it in the center of the heart and then I blended it with my finger. Then I took white and put it in the center of that and again blended it with my finger to kind of give it that glowing effect. And then around the heart I just made some white dots and then just blended it with my finger all over. It doesn't have to be too perfect because it'll give it some texture. And then now that the heart is dry again, I went over it with white to make it a little bit brighter. And for the groove-like structures in the cave part of the painting, I just made a line with the white body paint. And then I took a dry flat brush and pulled it away from the center. And if the paint is dried before you can get to blending it with that flat brush, you can add a little bit of water and just get that brush barely damp and you should be able to pull it and blend it a lot easier. What I did is I dipped the brush in water and I swiped it on the back of my hand till the water was basically gone and that worked out really well for me. Another method is using a baby wipe and swiping it up back and forth a couple times on a baby wipe just to get it very slightly damp and that also works.
and then I outlined the whole thing in black. I suppose you don't have to do this part, but I, th I wanted it to stand out more. And then I went in with black eyeshadow. Um, any black will do. I used an angled eyeshadow brush for this. And I just put most of the color in the deepest, where the deepest shadows would be, and then blended it out. And I guess if you wanted to, you could use that method of getting the flat brush slightly damp and then just pulling the black towards the center. That would have worked as well. And if you don't want that harsh line there, then I was just doing that method as opposed to just using the eyeshadow like I did. And then I shaded the outside a little bit. And you're done. Hope you enjoyed this design and tutorial, and I'll see you in the next video.